Aw, uh, dip powder nails, the best thing since sliced bread. But how do you actually apply them at home? Today I'm gonna show you how to do just that and how to make them actually look salon quality. Let's get started. So dip powder works on short nails, medium length nails, and long nails. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be popping on some fake nails so that you can actually see what's going on because it'll be kind of hard to tell with my wimpy little nails that I have right now. Whether or not you're using extensions, you wanna make sure your nails are prepped. To do this, make sure your cuticles are taken care of and your nails are filed into the shape you want, and then make sure you remove any debris with some alcohol. And just in case you're curious about how I apply my fake nails, I'm first going to apply a base coat gel, cure that, and then I'm actually using gel to adhere the fake nails to my natural nails. To do that, I'm using a stickier top coat gel, and I'm applying just a little bit of that to the back of the fake nail and then I'm going to hold that down tightly to my natural nail and slide that under the LED lamp still holding it as tight as possible while it cures and this is kind of hard they do make little clamps I actually just bought some and they didn't work and the best way I found to do this is just by holding it down but I really like this method because I find it is a tighter hold than just nail glue and when it comes time to remove I feel like the removal process is a little bit easier Okay, so whether you're going to do your dip powder on your natural nails or extensions like I am, you'll want to give your nails a light buff. This is just going to help everything adhere to your nail better and it's going to hopefully prevent chipping or peeling or anything that could happen just like you would do with a gel manicure. Now it's time to get dipping. You're going to need a dip powder system. I'm using the Revel one and you're going to want to start with the base code or it might be labeled a step one and apply a little bit of this to the free edge of the nail and then apply a thin layer to the rest of the nail and then immediately and I mean immediately don't waste any time dip your nail into the jar of powder I do this at a little bit of an angle and I try to push straight down and not move too much and I actually with powders like this that are a little bit more sheer or a lighter color I will double dip immediately so I'll dip once come out and dip one more time and this just guarantees that the powder adhered to every little bit of that first layer base coat. And then once you're done with that, dust up the excess and you can go back in with a second coat if you need to. The biggest trick to dip powder is the speed. I find if I go too slow, the base coat dries and I do not get an even dip, although it is easy to fix. I recommend doing this one nail at a time and then once you have your first layer of dip on, you can move on to the next one, but definitely don't apply the base coat to all of the nails at once and then try to dip in there individually. That won't work. And I'm actually gonna show you that right here. So I kind of waited around a little bit too long. And as you can see, I didn't even submerge my nail into the powder all the way. And when I pulled it out, it was definitely very patchy. If this happens to you, don't panic. Just pull out your nail, dust off the excess and repeat that process, making sure you apply that base into the gappy areas and then dip it again. You'll be surprised at how well this is going to cover up the patchiness and make it look like nothing ever happened. Good as new. And now that 60% of your nails are done, you're gonna wanna stop and pick a totally different color for your accent nails, and you just have to. So I'm going to use this icy pink sparkly color, and I'm going to be following the same steps as before to apply that. Oh, and I forgot to mention this at the beginning of the video, but make sure you're doing your dip powder on top of something disposable. I'm using an extra piece of printer paper because it's just easy to fold and put that powder back in the jar if I need to, and then just toss it when I'm done because this stuff is messy. Okay, so at this point you should have the dip powder on your nails and it should be looking okay. It might be kind of bulky, but this is where we're gonna fix that. So first you want to apply the activator or it might be called step two and I apply a generous layer of that and I let it dry. And that doesn't take long at all, maybe one or two minutes. And then it's time to file your dip powder nails into shape. This portion of the video is sponsored by Avo. I'm going to be using their portable nail drill to file and smooth down my nails. 
This nail drill is the perfect starter drill because it's portable, rechargeable, and it comes with everything you need to do some cuticle work and for dip powder nails like this or even acrylic nails. What's great about this drill is that it has an adjustable direction and speed. It goes from 3000 to 30,000 RPM and that is clearly displayed on the screen along with the battery charge indicator. And this guy gets up to 10 hours on just a two hour charge. I really liked the dial on this. It is very precise and I can get it to the exact speed I want. And on the side, there is a directional switch. If you're in the market for a new e-drill, I really like this one. I'll put a link to it in the description box below. And there will also be a coupon code. If you're interested, you can save a little bit of money. Big thank you to Avo for sponsoring this portion of the video. So I like to use an electric file when it comes to dip powder because it just gets the job done a lot faster. First, I'm using this semi-pointy cylindrical shaped bit to get close into the cuticle area and smooth out that bump. I try to make it as flush with the natural nail as I can. I am wearing fake nails, so that is kind of hard to do, but I find this pointier bit really does a good job of getting in there. Then I'm going to switch my bit out for a more straight cylindrical one, and this one's great for bulk filing and smoothing. And I'm just going to take that down the length of my nail and try to file down some of that bulk, but not too far where it breaks the color and you can start to see my natural nail show through. This bit is also really good for getting underneath the nail if you had any dip powder get stuck under there and for fixing the shape of your nail. You of course could do all of the filing by hand. I prefer to use an electric drill because it's way faster and I feel like it yields a more uniform look. And lastly, I use a sanding bit just to smooth down the surface. And as you can see, we've taken a lot of bulk off the nail, but it still looks structured. Once you're satisfied with the shape and thickness of your nails, go ahead and dust off the debris, and then you're gonna go back in with the activator and apply one more coat of this. But before it totally dries, take a paper towel and wipe off the excess. And the final step to the dip powder manicure is to apply top coat, but I'm not going to apply the top coat that comes in the dip powder kits. I'm actually going to be using a gel top coat. I have always hated those top coats that come in the dip powder systems. They are sticky, they smell like nail glue, and they don't dry that shiny. But with a gel top coat, you get the longevity of the dip powder with the shininess of the gel. So I really like it and I highly recommend it. And there you have some of my tips and tricks for applying dip powder at home. If you guys give this a try and you're happy with the results, I'd love to see a picture of your manicure. You can share it with me on any of my social medias that I have listed below. If you'd like to watch a video similar to this, you can click on your screen here. And as always, thank you so much for taking the time to stop by and I'll see you next time. Bye.